teams that I think have playoff hopes, but not maybe divisional Super Bowl hopes, but two teams that I think are in the mix with the Browns um, and the Seahawks. Great win for Cleveland last week. It was a wild game, back and forth. Crazy win uh, for the Browns in that one over the Colts. And the Seahawks, listen, I think the Seahawks, you know, it wasn't a dominant performance against Arizona. They covered our teasers. They were able to get my uh, spread bet home, albeit a little bit fortunate with a last-second field goal. Chris, I, I, I don't know where we are with P.J. Walker, but maybe he gives them a better chance to win right now than Deshaun Watson based off of the current iteration of Deshaun Watson. Where are you with this Browns team and P.J. Walker? Well, I'm rooting for the guy because everybody says that he's, you know, a really nice guy. Uh, and uh, and when he's practicing and, and everything else he does is just aces. And when he gets on the field, he's a Keystone cop or something, uh, supposedly. So... I'm rooting for the guy. I don't understand what happened with Cleveland last week. Uh, their defense collapsed. And as bad as that was, that, that just sends a uh, warning sign at me that, uh, hey, let's sit back a little bit. What, what, what's going on there? Because that was scary bad. Mm. Uh, certainly didn't deserve to get the win there, uh, but I'll take it for the amount of times I've been screwed. Uh, <laughs> Cleveland... They're getting a lot of attention, but they, they're, they're metrically inconsistent and actually trending down. And Seattle's right there at the top. Uh, they're number three in upwardly, upward mobility. And uh, I like the Seahawks a lot here. And I'm so grateful because when I checked last week's number, I was absolutely going to be a Browns backer in this game. And thank goodness the numbers shifted enough to keep me off of this game. And actually, I lean a little bit with Seattle. So that's where I stand. I, I don't have any official bets, and I probably won't get involved in the game. But uh, if I do, it'll be on Seattle's side. Yeah, pursuant to what Chris was saying, how bad was that Cleveland uh, defense last week? Well, the Cleveland offense put up almost 40 points, but they only got 300 yards of offense. It was the Indy offense that thrived. 450, set almost seven yards per play, Indy four turnovers, and that ultimately was the difference. So phony win by Cleveland. It's hard to win, Indy, if you're if you're if you're fighting eleven against seventeen with the refs wanting yeah. Cleveland to win clearly last week. But um I could only look towards Seattle. But you know what? The ship sailed. Seattle was minus three and now it's yeah. three and a half. And I can tell you, I never, if there's one thing I never do. It's lay three and a half in a game where I could have gotten three. So if if you if you do get involved with Seattle, maybe you look at a money line like a, at a minus one eighty. But um, it, it, it's just r so rarely right to lay three and a half on a game that you that you could have had the minus three. Do we of these two teams right now? And I guess I'll frame it this way: Is Cleveland going to get any attention in the market this week at three and a half? You see that hook out there, Fez? Anyone going to buy it up? And at that point, if it gets back to three. We, we None, because the narrative will be anyone who looks at the box score, like Chris mentioned, will be like, these guys yeah. were terrible last week, and the refs handed them a game, and they're going to look at the narrative on Seattle, and they're going to say, hey, they struggled against Arizona, and they're only up seven late in the game, but wait, they're 0-3 in turnovers. They, they dominated the box score, so the people who dig into the box scores a little more are going to like Seattle. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, if I, anything, I think... this line is short. I mean, it's it, it just can't come back. And but it, it's it it smells bad too. It just it just seems wrong. It should be yeah, higher. Yeah, because I didn't think Seattle deserved to cover last week, guys. I, I didn't think they deserved to cover the seven and a half last week. Their offense wasn't good enough. They turned it over in the red zone too many times. So, yeah. I, I I think this. I, I'll make my prediction here. I'm not betting this game. I'm not giving an official play. My prediction is this game lands three, some way somehow. This game is going to land three. Mark that one down, and we'll see what happens when we circle back uh, next week.